All right, mga dude pare. So right now, I am behind the wheel of the all-new Toyota Yaris Cross V, the mid-spec gasoline trim of the local Yaris Cross. And in this video, I'm going to share with you my initial driving impressions of this vehicle. Let's do this. All right, so yes, the Yaris Cross V, which is the, the mid-spec gasoline trim of the local Yaris Cross uh, lineup, the top spec being the Yaris Cross HEV. Now, this might be the mid-spec trim, but as I discussed in my features video, you'll know that this is so well equipped that it might as well be called the top spec gasoline trim of the local Yaris Cross uh, lineup. You see, we have all of the bits and goodies of the Yaris Cross HEV in this vehicle. We have Toyota Safety Sense, which for me is a big plus, by the way. And we have uh, you know, a 10.1 inch touchscreen infotainment system with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We even have a reverse, uh, not even a reverse camera image. We have a 360 degree view camera image in this mid-spec Yaris Cross V. But if you want the full features, you can always watch my features video of this, of this car because right now I'm going to share with you how it's like to drive. First up, I noticed that this is one of the easier subcompact crossovers to drive. You have a nice and tall sitting position here. You have a wide open windshield up front. You have wide open windows at the sides. So the visibility is spot on. Now, just like any uh, Toyota that I've driven, the steering feel of the Yaris Cross V is also well sorted out. You see, we have a good balance of heft and uh, feedback in this uh, steering wheel. Uh, it's it's not uh, not too artificial. In fact, it feels like uh, the steering of you know of the older t Toyotas out there, which is a big advantage. You see, a lot of new cars nowadays they want to give you a light and electrically assisted steering feel, which for me doesn't you know it disconnects you from the road, uh, and we don't have that in this Yaris Cross V. I mean, this vehicle, yeah, it. The steering, spot on pare, spot on. Now, we went through a pothole there, and I'm happy to report, oh, here's another pothole. Oh. <laughs> See, I'm happy to report that it sounds and feels solid, like what you'd expect from a Toyota. Uh, it feels good. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart. And yeah, that's because, friends, this is a Toyota. A well spec Toyota, that. Now, in terms of acceleration, uh, some of you will probably say that, yeah, it's 105 horsepower, Reagan. What sort of power can we expect from that car? Well, for one, this is the same engine as the Toyota Veloz, which is a larger and heavier vehicle. But the Yaris Cross is lighter. And as you can see now, we're actually going up an incline. And we are three passengers on board, although the camera just shows myself, but we are actually three here. <laughs> and yeah, going up a steep incline, pare walang problema. It has no issues going up a steep incline. Torque delivery is pretty good. I mean, even if we just have 138 Newton meters of torque here, the way Toyota tunes their transmissions, the way the transmission delivers the power, it's really good, especially in the low end. I mean, we have a CVT transmission here, but the CVT, yeah, it feels meaty. It feels responsive. It doesn't feel like, you know, regular CVTs out there that would just give you engine noises, but doesn't give you power. Uh, this one, see? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> it also gives some engine noise. <laughs> but when you need to pull, it will pull hard. That's one thing that I experienced today. Now we do have paddle shifters here in case you want to do some of your own driving. There you go. Yep, I'm doing the paddle shifters now. And uh, ooh, woohoo! Oh, yeah, the paddles are surprisingly responsive. 
I didn't expect that from you know a value subcompact crossover that's meant for daily driving. They have a really responsive. Oh, up to seventh gear. Wow. We have a really responsive paddle shifter system here. Down shift to six. Wow, nice. And we have seven simulated gears. Uh, that's unexpected, especially from you know from a crossover. I didn't expect that. That has a CVT. Wow. So putting it in paddles, yeah. Downshifting is fast, and now yeah, the safety sense is coming and telling me that I'm going a bit too fast. <laughs> so let's just put it back in drive mode. Yes, dude, I love the safety sense. It tells you if you're about to hit the vehicle up front. It tells you if you're going over your lane. It keeps you as a safe driver at all times. So yeah, the Yaris Cross, it has a really good CVT transmission. It's above average. It's better than most, in fact. <laughs> And we also have safety sense. So you have safety, you have a good level of performance, and you have a very, very premium looking cabin. I mean, it takes all the boxes, pare. Hanep. All right, so that just about wraps it up for my uh, quick driving impressions of the Toyota Yaris Cross V gasoline trim. And uh, yeah, based on my initial impressions, this vehicle will deliver a very comfortable, premium uh, ride. And it has some pep to it in case you want to have a little bit of fun. Uh, those paddle shifters are really responsive, so I'm glad they included that. Uh, yeah, and in terms of the fuel economy, well, I couldn't really get that in this um, initial impressions video. But I do hope that I get a chance to borrow this Yaris Cross V um, sometime in the future so that I could really give you a full in-depth driving review video of this subcompact crossover. Anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed already guys, please subscribe to Reagan's Rides because I am coming out with a lot of fantastic content uh, for you guys. So uh, anyway, I will see you again in my next video. It's already time for lunch. I'm kind of hungry. We're going for lunch right now. Bye-bye.